Good morning, folks. Had another special video out last night, and I really hope I can do it again tonight. We've got a bit of space weather, some eye candy, and a follow-up to one of the topics in last night's special video. But starting with our star, we find no solar flaring, but the central coronal hole is large and crossing Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. The solar wind is pretty calm, but currently the phi angle flip in blue, a solar wind magnetic reversal, is telling us that the coronal hole stream from that central opening is about 36 to 48 hours away. Good chance for minor geomagnetic storms this weekend. The big sunspot group we've been watching has stayed quiet on the south and begins departing, while on the incoming limb, we see a few new sunspot groups to watch. The umbral and coronal magnetic fields suggest there's more coming at or just behind the limb. We'll be focused here in the coming days for increased activity potential. Let's go to Pakistan, where a couple visuals help elucidate how inundating their flood situation is. Millions of people affected, especially since the majority of their population lives near the waterways, which is where the flooding is worst. Let's go to some eye candy, starting with a very large baseline array scoping a full binary system with an interior exoplanet in the system. Everything from their masses to the oscillatory motion as they orbit each other was detected. Now, let's go see another exoplanet, but this time from James Webb. It's first look at one as its Neri and Mir cam get multiple infrared views of the planet and circumplanetary material, including a potential disk. This one is a gas giant. Last night, we shared what are my five favorite disaster cycle studies. It was rapid fire information once again as all five are covered in just over four minutes, the last of which detailed the necessity of stellar outbursts to fix galactic astrophysics. Today, we move further down that line with cataclysmic variables, stars that outburst and change luminosity. This is where we discover that those smaller outbursting events occur far more often and that there must be tons more of these smaller outburst systems than we realize, yet undetected. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch last night's special video if you missed it. We'll try to get back to you tonight with another one. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.